We are talking about slopes of lines and equations of lines. And one thing that we need to be able to do is calculate the slope of a line using the slope equation. And we have the equation for slope. Remember, slope is represented by m, uh, which, and then the equation is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And sometimes this can look pretty complicated, but we'll talk about um, some ways that we can simplify this a little bit. Um, the big thing that we need to pay attention to is that y is in the numerator, x is in the denominator. We always have the negative sign in the middle, and the ordered pairs are always stacked vertically. So uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, the first thing that we want to pay attention to is the divide sign and the two minus signs. So two negative signs. And I always write this down first. So M is equal to, I put the divide sign and I always put the two negative signs. So that'll never change. Uh, the next thing we want to pay attention to is that the ordered pairs are always stacked or the coordinates coordinates are stacked. And what that means is this coordinate uh, for E negative 2 1 is going to be stacked vertically with the y value in the numerator in the numerator and the x value in the denominator. And it's going to be the same thing for our other coordinate. The y value is in the numerator and the x value is in the denominator. And then we just go ahead and do that math. So 1 minus 7 is negative 6. And negative 2 minus 5, they're both negative. So add them. So 2 plus 5 is 7 and keep the signs that's negative 7 and we don't have to reduce this or get a decimal but we do have to simplify this so negative divided by negative is positive so that's 6 over 7 and so our slope is equal to 6 over 7. so two negative signs the coordinates are always stacked and y goes in the numerator we'll make that also so we can think of those th those three rules when we're doing our slope so now we can do it again this time find the slope of the line that passes through the point um, 0 3 and h 2 negative 1 so I'm going to start out the same way. I'm going to write m equals, and I'm going to put my divide sign, and I'm going to put my two negative signs because that will never change. Next, I'm going to put in the first point with the y value going first, so 3 over 0. And then we'll put the point h in, the second one, negative and negative one and two, and that is why I always put the negative because sometimes we said three minus one, we forget to put that negative sign in there. So this is why I always put that negative to make sure that I remember that it's there because that changes it. So here we get three minus a negative one. So that's um, the same thing as adding. So we get four over uh, zero minus two, that is negative two and we do this math, we end up with negative two. So we get a slope, which is equal to negative two.